Hello everyone, this is Shalit Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. I'm really excited today because in today's video I will be covering one of your new clinical skills uh, which are added to your OSCE and MC OSCE exam syllabus. So I will be covering the oxygen therapy clinical skill today. So if you like my videos, please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel. It just really gives me good motivation to keep making some good videos for you to help you with preparing uh, for your NMC OSCE exam. So let's talk about the station then. So today's station is uh, oxygen therapy, which is high flow oxygen therapy. So if you look at your slide now, that's to, I will talk you through the station, how to do it uh, and by marking criteria step by step and also how to complete the documentation and then at the end, my five top tips. So if you look at the slide now, this station is 10 minutes long. Of course, you're going to give some oxygen therapy. You're going to start high flow oxygen therapy using correct uh, delivery method, which is the reservoir masks, okay? So you will be given a variety of different masks, like a simple mask, nasal cannula, and other masks, but you need to choose the reservoir mask to give uh, start this uh, high flow uh, oxygen therapy. And the third thing is you need to make sure that you complete the documentation correctly after starting the therapy so that's what we need to do in 10 minutes so what else we are given so of course we will be given a prescription so that will be your math chart so your oxygen will be prescribed within the math chart so you will have the front page of the math chart where it will tell you what time and date your oxygen therapy is due to be started and then the second page will be your patient details and the id details and allergy status which we need to check during the station and then the third page will be where your oxygen therapy has been prescribed and you have to check the validity of the prescription and then equipment wise you will be given variety of different masks and you have to choose the reservoir mask and the tubing to start your oxygen therapy okay so let's see what we need to do in the station so as like in any station first thing we need to do is do our scene safety draw the curtains and then clean our hands using world health organization guidance of seven steps so once we have done that we're going to explain fully to our patient what we're going to do and take a valid consent okay once we have taken the consent then go ahead and do the full identification check with your patient against your documentation okay so hold your patient hand uh, look at the name band ask your patient for the name date of birth check that is correctly written on the name band and correctly written in your prescription chart okay and then uh, go ahead and check the mrn number from the name band and match it to your documentation and then go ahead and check the allergy status look at the allergy band and check that it is correctly documented the allergies are properly correctly documented in your prescription chart so once you've done that next step we which is very important step because oxygen is a prescribed medication in uk so we are going to check at the validity of the prescription so so let's look where the prescription is so uh, on the prescription page we're going to look for first thing is the target saturation so the target saturation we've been asked to maintain is 94 to 98 percent and now let's next look at the validity of the prescription so this uh, prescription starting device and flow rate is a reservoir mask we need to use flow rate is 15 liter start date is today prescriber signature is l beige and the start uh, stop date is tomorrow and the uh, print name is dr l uh, lorraine beige and then there is also the uh, signature of the pharmacy person so this is a complete and valid prescription so what did we check our prescription for so we need to make sure we checking the target saturation we checking the device and flow rate we checking the date and time of administration which will be on the front of your uh, mark chart prescription is legible uh, and then start and end date and the signature of of the prescriber so that's really really important that you verbalize that correctly once we have verbalized that our um, prescription is complete and valid now we can go ahead with the procedure 
So next step is clean your hands using alcohol hand gel and then once you have done that then you're going to identify select the reservoir mask from your collection of different masks choose the reservoir mask and it comes attached with a tubing already so that's fine and now you need to attach the other end of this tubing to your flow rate meter okay to your flow oxygen flow meter uh, whether it's on the wall whether it's uh, on a cylinder so you attach that once you have done that then the turn the oxygen flow meter on and then choose the correct rate which is the 15 liter so which is the full 15 liter because we're going to give high flow oxygen to our patient so we're going to choose the correct rate uh, of 15 liter of uh, oxygen delivery once we have done that now this is a reservoir mask so it's got a reservoir bag where the oxygen is collected from where patient is then taking the oxygen in so we need to make sure it's fully filled with oxygen first so to inflate your bag if i show you on the screen now you can you can see there is a t-shaped valve so you put your finger on that t-shaped valve from the inside uh, of the mask and then once you put the finger on and uh, your flow rate is already on flow meter so the bag will start inflating and filling with oxygen so make sure it's fully full with oxygen and it's fully inflated once it's fully inflated then you're going to apply the mask to your patient so you're going to apply the mask on patient uh, and making sure both the nose and the mouth is covered okay so this is really important because we need to place it correctly so uh, it's placing a, it's covering the patient nose and mouth both and next thing we need to make sure is adjusted properly it's not too loose or too tight for our patient so we know we have uh, some elastic uh, um, uh, straps uh, so we're going to pull, pull, pull them over patient head and then we can adjust the nose um, brace as well and then just uh, and pull both uh, uh, straps to just make sure it's a good seal at your patient mouth and nose uh, it, it, you need to have a good seal for oxygen therapy to be effective but not too tight okay so you need to make sure that uh, it is okay for your patient next thing is we're just going to ask our patient which is mannequin to make sure that is comfortable for the patient and it's not too tight okay so we next we're going to now we have started the oxygen therapy successfully we need to verbalize other things so what do we need to do next so i will you will verbalize that i will check my patient oxygen saturations again to make sure that the, my patient is achieving the target range of 94 to 98 percent if that's not the case that i will escalate to the medical team and the next thing will be making sure that you verbalize that you check your patient's skin around the nose and mouth and ears and back of the head um, uh, to make sure that a, a oxygen mask is not causing any irritation or any redness to the skin so that's really important and also that you will provide regular mouth care to your patient because oxygen makes your mouth very dry and if it's high flow oxygen like we are giving with the reservoir mask is going to make your patient mouth really dry so you will verbalize that you will provide regular mouth care to keep your patient mouth moist and then the last thing now is to make sure that you sign for uh, your documentation okay so the completing your documentation so how do we do that so we need to do it in two places first place is where your mark chart normally asks all administrator to write their name and their signature and their location so that box is on the inside of the first page so it's your second page of the march chart where you have to add your uh, uh, signature name and then the location and then uh, then where the uh, second part of uh, uh, documentation is where the oxygen is prescribed on that page now you're going to go ahead and write the uh, document that you have started this oxygen so you will write administrator signature so you will write your uh, uh, put your signatures in and then print your name is the next column and then the date date is uh, your exam date or, or whatever is given on the front of the mark chart time is again on the front of the mark chart so add that that's your time of starting the oxygen therapy and then the last column asks you for flow rate so flow rate is of course 15 liter slash so put slash and then device device is reservoir mask so if you look just under the prescription they have given you code to use for reservoir mask which is rm so add that now your documentation is complete so now you just do your final hand hygiene make sure your patient is okay and finish your station professionally so that's the end of the station 
so my five top tips the first one is make sure you do a correct id check and allergy check with your patient is really really important because you're giving a medication and it's a medication station so against your documentation which is your mark chart second tip is validity of the prescription i can see this will be easily a very common fail in this station i know they just started testing on this station from 14th of november but i can see this being a very uh, big mistake in your station which is the validity of the prescription so make sure you don't make that mistake and you check that your prescription is complete and legible and valid uh, so check all those things which i have asked you to read on your prescription just read everything how is prescribed and then the third top tip is making sure you choose a correct uh, uh, um, mask uh, so you're using reservoir mask which i've shown you so choose that one from the other given masks uh, tip number four is making sure once you started the oxygen therapy correctly that you verbalize your other actions which is checking patient oxygen target satu oxygen saturations and if they are not within the target of 94 to 98 percent then you will escalate it to your medical team and also that you will check your patient's skin regularly and for any irritation and also provide regular mouth care so that's really really important point and the last one the fifth top tip is documentation documentation okay Okay. so you got to make sure your documentation is completed correctly in both parts where you uh, write the uh, um, where you sign for the record box where you sign for your uh, uh, administrator name uh, signature and the location and also on the page where the oxygen is prescribed for everything they're asking you to sign there which is your administrator uh, signature name uh, date time flow rate and device okay so that's uh, the end of the station and my top tips i hope you like this video and please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel you can also visit us on oskinastraining.com we provide both full OSCE, adult oski training and also uh, just the refresher and revision courses and mock exams and uh, some feedback sessions and only just the skills practice or we provide both online and face to face so you can visit us for more information on oskinastraining.com i will soon be back with another video for your clinical skills so bye for now